science is asking questions. Science is the connection of all things. Science is progress. Electricity. Higher learning. Exploration. The future. Being bold. The exchange of information. Symmetry. Always changing. Science is charting the course of mankind. I think our strength has always been and is in the sciences. The major challenges in science of today, I think it's undeniable that uh, issues like uh, food security. By about 2014, we will have to feed 9 billion people on the planet. Global change. Quakes, mine tremors, floods, health. The ph pharmaceutical industry picks up on the, the molecular basis to this and develops what would then become known as a product that is sold over the counter. Some of you might be familiar with the recent find by one of our scientists, Professor Lee Berger. We have found something that sits at a critical time period, a moment between the early hominids like Mrs. Plez and Lucy and our direct ancestor, Homo erectus. What we have found is part of the iconic history of humankind. All of this is possible because of modern advances in mathematics, molecular biology, computer science, geosciences, physics, astronomy. Science is the way we experience life. I think it is extremely important that science is uh, really pushed. We need young scientists. No industry would function effectively today without digital information or computer activity. We want to change the image of science from being an archaic uh, discipline. You have an environment that is spacious with modern equipment. What are the requirements for a city to have global aspirations? And what are the aspirations for any country to, to be a global player? And one of the requirements is to have world-class universities. The Science Stadium will increase our capacity to train more students at the tertiary level. So we need the chemists to be talking to the geologists, the biologists to talk to the paleontologists. People can sit there and talk science the more we train undergrads, the more we, uh, we, we allow them to interact with the right tools, with the right thinking skills, the more we'll have postgrads who can have the capacity to make a real difference in society. Not just the applied maths department, but we're students from pure mathematics, statistics, physics, astronomy, biology. And what the Science Stadium will do will give us the infrastructure so that lots of science group work can be done and at the same time improve social relations in the university. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when we can bring all of that teaching into one focused place and be able to resource not only one area of science or two areas of science, but all the areas, the multidisciplinary nature of this field in one place, the Science Stadium. The Viet Science Stadium is really a reflection of the confidence of government in the strength that this has in the sciences. If we didn't do this, you know, we, we would probably still be looking, digging for roots and doing all sorts of strange things. Research and generation of knowledge is what takes us into the future. We're writing history at this moment. We have set ourselves the aim of being one of the top 100 universities by the time we celebrate our centenary, by the time we turn 100 in 2022. To bring people together at centers of learning where they can be inspired, where they have the opportunity to ask those questions, that is an investment in the future that, that we cannot ignore. <laughs>